I'd like to show you how to insert a continuous glucose monitor so that you can continually monitor your blood sugars with your insulin pump. Right now I'll just go over the basic supplies needed. This is the soft serter that you use to monitor your blood sugars and then to compare to the inserter you use for your insulin pump, the needle there. Then you got the transmitter charging, some cloth tape, the inserter device, and of course an alcohol pad. As you can see, I loaded the soft serter sensor into the inserter, and what I need to do is take off the plastic tubing over the needle along with the tape protection. And then I'll prep the area and insert the soft serter. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to try to insert right around here, so I'm going to prep the area. Now I need to cock the inserter device, and I leave the um, needle protector on while I do that. And then kind of set up the... Uh, tape part so that it doesn't get caught when I insert. Now I'll take the needle off <clears throat> and then you kind of want to go at a 30 to 45 degree angle and once you have it positioned you can release the, the lock. and then make sure to slide it out along your skin so it doesn't pull anything and then you can pull the tape protector there and kind of pad that down now you need to grip both sides of the sensor to release the, the needle lock and then you pull the needle out at that same 30 or 45 degree angle There's the needle out, and it's not bleeding, which is good. Now you kind of need to let it sit for 15 minutes, and then you'll come back and attach the sensor. And then when you attach it here, there should be a, about five uh, green lights blink, and that means the sensor is working and it has a good battery life. And then you wait two hours to calibrate with your insulin pump. Okay, it's been about... 15 minutes now so I can connect my insulin pump to the sensor. Uh, what I'm going to do first is it's, the sensor is done charging so I'm going to pull it off and it should beep. Green light it means good so it's ready to connect. So I'll come over to the sensor. As you can see everything still looks good not bleeding anywhere and what you want to do is slide it on just like this and it'll snap and then wait for the green light again I think it beeps about five times and that means the insert is working correctly it's been it's connected with the blood and it's saturated so then you come over to the insulin pump Go down to sensor, you want to edit the settings, and the sensor is currently off, so you want to turn it on, and then you need to escape once to go back to the previous screen, go up to link to sensor, and then this is a new sensor and then we push act once more and you'll see the little sensor icon next to the battery up there and it says in two hours it'll beep uh, telling you to uh, calibrate do your first calibration